Here is our basic MQTT app. So when you press the button, it sends an incremented value to the broker. And it also is listening on the same topic, which sets the value shown above the button. This tutorial is going to use the Hive MQ public MQTT broker, mainly because it's simple and easy to use. This isn't sponsored, but I quite like it. We're also using the Expo framework around React, which does a lot of nice things for you. You don't have to worry about setting up Android Studio. So to create our project, we use Expo in it and then give it the name of our project and choose the blank template. We then go into our project and run npm install dash dash save paho mqtt and that will install the paho library into our project. We then run expo start to actually start up the server and there is an app available to run it in debug mode on your device. So this is the template that we get from expo and we need to start adding some stuff to it. So first of all, a few basic things. We need use state so we can deal with state in our app. And then we need to actually use that. So we've got a value to store stuff in and a method to set that value. And then we change the text in our app to show that value. So whenever value gets updated, the text on the screen will get updated too. So next we need to add Paho so that we can connect to MQTT. So we import the module. And then we need to create a new client. And note that the namespace here does not have capital MQTT in it. You'll see a lot of tutorials with that, but they changed the API at one point and didn't update the tutorials. And then we point it at the public HiveMQ broker. This also means we don't need to use a name and password, so anyone can use this. Make sure it's using port 8000, which happens to be the WebSocket address, because this library only works with WebSockets. And then we need a client string and the bit on the end of this just puts a random number in so it changes every time. Inside our app we can now connect to the client so we can connect to our broker. And inside the client connect method we can add a data structure that lets us set callbacks for when we connect successfully and when we fail to connect. However, this has a bit of a problem in that the connection will try to reconnect every time we re-render the screen. So we need to bring in use effect and put this inside the use effect hook. And note that the use effect has an empty list as a second parameter. So this means that there won't be any variables updating it and it will only get are called once on creation. Once we know we are connected, we can do a few other things. Firstly, we need to subscribe to the MQTT topic that we're interested in so that we can get data from it. And then we need to create a callback to deal with messages coming in from the broker. So in this callback, we check the message and make sure it's coming from the right topic. In our case, there's only one. And then we can get the payload from that message, which will be a string. Use parseInt to turn it into an integer and then use setValue to set the value of our data. So now whenever a broker sends data to all the clients, we'll pick it up and we'll render it on the screen but we also want a way to send data to the broker. So to do that, we import a button 
and add it to our JSX. And this button has an on press method which we can use to send data. So this takes a callback and in this case we need to pass the client into it because we're going to use it. So in our change value function we create a new Paho message and we're taking the current value, adding one to it and converting it to a string. We need to set the topic it's going to go to and then we send it to the client. Note that I've used C here and passed in the client so we use the same client we originally connected to. And that's all there is to the basic workings of Paho. So we can get data and send data to a topic uh, and you can download this from my GitHub repository and uh, I didn't need to put any username or password so it should just work. Of course this simple app we could do much simpler just using use state but this is a nice simple demonstration of how the Paho MQTT library works.